Welcome back to the channel. I'm Erin, where I talk tips, tools, and tutorials for virtual assistants. And this week, we are getting into another training, but this time we're specifically using two different AI tools to help you make the most out of your social media marketing and your writing skills. I wanna to talk to you guys about two of my favorite writing tools right now on the market that are not ChatGPT, and they are WriteSonic and Copy AI. So here's how this video works. I'm gonna give you a prompt, and what I want you to do is pause the video, complete the tasks that I'm giving to you, and then come back to the end of the video and compare your answers with mine. The first task that I want you to do is for social media captions. So pretend I'm your client and your prompt is that I'm going to give you my next four Instagram images and I want you to create short and interesting captions for each of the images that encourages people to buy my product. So what is the product? I sell suitcases. Take a look at what I'm giving to you. I'm just giving you images. I want you to pause this video right now and using a tool, whichever AI tool you want, I want you to come up with a couple interesting captions for these images that encourage people to buy my product. Pause the video right now. Give yourself five to 10 minutes tops to see what you can come up with and go. A few moments later. I hope those Instagram captions were fun. We're gonna compare answers in a second. I'm gonna show you how I came up with my captions, but your second prompt for this week's practice is a blog post. So I'm your client and I have a blog about interior decorating on a frugal budget. So can you help me brainstorm my next four posts? And what I'm looking for here as your client is not that I want you to write the blog post per se, I want you to help me come up with uh, interesting titles or interesting topics that relate to interior decorating on, uh, on a small limited budget. So if you could use either one of those AI tools I talked about earlier, which one would you use? And go. Okay, so I hope that was fun. Let's talk about some of the answers and then I'm gonna show you which tools I used and how I came up with each of these um, captions or title ideas or whatever. First thing I wanna do is check out Copy AI. So I'm gonna use Copy AI and check out some of their templates for the Instagram prompt. Now the best thing about Copy AI is they have a ton of different templates that I can use. Uh, I'm gonna focus just on the social media content and look at all the different options that they give you. Um, I like the build anticipation and launch a new product. I think that's exactly what we want. All right, so you can see here, Copy AI already lays out what you need to type in to get a good result. Um, so looking at the first picture, that white hard shell suitcase, that's exactly the product that I'm gonna type in. My target audience, uh, I'm just guessing here, hopefully your client will give you details about who their target audience is, who they're selling to, what their ideal client base is. Um, so you would take those details and plug that into the target audience. So here I'm saying um, affluent travelers who prefer, prefer, uh, prefer form, style, uh, minimalist style. Next, all you're going to do is start plugging in the benefits and the details about this particular product. So I'm making up details about the product here just for the benefit of this video so you can see exactly what kind of options it's going to give us. Something else I really like about Copy AI is that you can change the tone of the outputs. Um, I typically tend to go to friendly or relaxed because I think the tone becomes a little more conversational, but I suggest that you play around with different tones. Once you've inputted all of your details, Copy AI is gonna give you a bunch of different options to peruse. And honestly, if you don't like any of the options, you can always generate more. But if you do find an option that you think is pretty good or works, all you're gonna do is copy the text and then you're gonna paste it into um, either a Word doc or an email or in this case, a PDF, whatever it is, however it is that you give your client options uh, for the text that you're creating. For the rest of the images, all I did was go back through and change some minor details about the product itself. Um, so for the last one, I'm like, all right, let's do travelers who are really hard on their suitcases. So I wanted more details, less about fashion, less about how it looks and more about um, details, more about how it functions, how it's tough, how you can beat this thing up <laughs> and uh, going for a different tone. Because if you're a hardcore traveler, I think you're an adventurous person. So uh, again, creating the content, go through, see what kind of content Copy AI is offering you. 
All right, the next thing we are doing is the blog post idea. So I needed to come up with four titles for my client on a frugal budget. For this particular prompt, I am going to use WriteSonic because I think WriteSonic is great for uh, longer form content. So like Copy AI, WriteSonic has tons of templates that you could peruse, and I'm gonna go right to the article and blog template. And lucky for us, not only do they have long form creators, they also have blog titles. So at this point, I'm copying and pasting my client's prompt. They have blog about interior decorating on a frugal budget. Um, Write Sonic uses ChatGPT, by the way, for their outputs. Um, so in theory, you could go straight to ChatGPT, uh, but I'm choosing to use Write Sonic because of the use of their templates and different things that I can do with it. All right, so I've just generated a bunch of options, and at this point, all I'm gonna do is comb through and see which ones I think are best and which one I think my client will respond to the best. Hopefully this week's video gave you a little more insight into some of the AI writing tools that you can use for your VA business. And now before we go, I want you to tell me what AI tools you want me to highlight next. Do you guys have any questions about certain AI tools? Are you trying to use any certain AI tools for your VA business? Leave me a comment in the description below. I would love to know what you guys are thinking about, what you guys are struggling with, and I would love to answer those questions that you have on my next videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.